I never for once sat down and say, oh, I want to go and study computer science. No. Okay, if I'm not going to be a doctor, then I'm going to be a civil engineer or an electrical engineer. Like you go to uni and uni doesn't work. What else can you do? I'm going to be sharing the emotional letters they wrote me. Hey everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fine. Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining. I'm happy you could tune in. And if today is your first time, you're welcome. My name is Aladi Ako. Yeah, you're welcome to my channel. I hope you like it here and um, I hope to see you in another video. My educational background, um, I have a bachelor's degree in computer science and I have a master's degree in computer science and engineering. So let's get that out of the way. And while I was in school, um, my research areas were cybersecurity security um, robotics um, why is the title of this video kind of like saying accidentally the thing is when I was growing up I was probably um, how old was I I don't know I can't remember uh, probably 12 or 13 and that was when I was in GSS 3 or when I had just finished my GSCE what we call the junior YAC if you're a Nigerian so that's like you know um, you spend six years in secondary school before going to the university so half of that six years the first three years and this is I'm explaining this first because I know some of you are not Nigerians so it's like the first three years before the last three years of high school before the three years of high school <laughs> I hope I have not confused you so when I finished that my mom is like okay you know once you guys are done with um, this you have this holiday I think you get up to three months I don't know but it's quite a long holiday and um, she's like oh you have to find something to do what if you go to school at the end of the day like you go to uni and uni doesn't work what else can you do she was encouraging you know her children to learn tailoring hairstyling you know mechanic you know just something that you don't need a degree to do to get so for me i was like what can i do what can i do and um, then i had phobia for needles so i didn't even want to do anything tailoring so i told myself you know what i think computer you know going to do desktop publishing then you know there's this training they used to do in my area it's like you just go there to de learn desktop to learn desktop publishing so it could be stuff like um, Corel draw Microsoft Office like learning all the packages they're learning how to you know maybe type you know there are different things they teach but it's nothing coding nothing technical as coding programming you know so I was like well this is what I want to do and they were like okay we'll register you so they registered me I started I liked it so I'm just telling you this was the first time I had official contact with the computer and stuff but it was nothing technical like I said and um, I liked it you know I did so well in Corridor the design aspect and it was something I really liked but let me tell you guys, you know, growing up, I wanted to be a doctor. Yeah, I wanted to be a doctor. And what influenced my decision to be a doctor was um, when we were growing up, we lived in a doctor's quarter. So everyone around me were doctors. And if they were not doctors, they are probably one or two people who were lab um, scientists. Um, I don't know what they call it, med lab scientists. Those people that work in the lab, you know, do testing and all that. Or they were pharmacists. So just everybody around me were in the medical field so it was just natural to say okay i'll be a doctor too because everyone around me is a doctor and um yeah i i never had any other thing at the time when i was really young and um yeah that was just gonna be a doctor and then i wrote waek wrote my jump you know those are the entrance examinations into um, the university i wrote all these things and <laughs> my the score that i had then was not um i think it was not was it up to the score i don't i don't know but i knew i, w I didn't get into uh, medicine so um i had to change my course to anatomy which i didn't even want i want so i think at that point i started thinking like, what else can you study so i considered electrical engineering and i also considered um civil engineering so these were the other two things i was like okay if i'm not going to be a doctor then i'm going to be a civil engineer or an electrical engineer so um those were the other two things but <laughs> i'm none of those things today um, so i think uh, an opportunity there was a family friend or um i don't know is it a family friend or just an acquaintance or 
a church member i don't know how to put it but they reached out um to us and told us about this this private uni blah 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 and uh, da, 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 computer science that 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 you know basically just give us that idea so me at the time i i wasn't saying yes and i wasn't saying no i was just there and then my cousin his dad is neighbors with that uh friend that church member and he was like computer science is the future is the now blah blah he marketed it basically to me and he was like i think you should do it shout out to him you know thank you thank you for informing my decision today so he was like aladi i think um you should do it you know and that was how that was how like you know computer science came into the picture and i was like wow okay so in 2013 i went to uni and I started studying computer science, you know, went for internships in my second and third year, I think. And um, yeah, in my third year, I think, was it my second year? Yeah, my internship, you know, that was, I did um, programming, you know, a lot of it, you know, real life. We, we created an application in Java, you know, it was so amazing. I was like, what? You know, you could do a lot with this. At first it was overwhelming. If you guys have not watched um, that video, I recommend you go watch it. There's a video I have here that says like regrets I have about computer science, you know, things I wish I had known or something like that. I can't remember. So it was amazing. Like, and that was how I was sold because I, I even up to that point I was still thinking I'm gonna leave I'm gonna try to go start medicine I'm gonna write jam again you know I had all those um, things flying in my head but I was sold I was literally sold because I was like there's a lot that I could do from computer science today I look back and I'm like I'm so thankful that I actually went into computer science because I have the opportunity to work from home work remotely work anywhere um, you know the money too is not bad the money is good um, you know it allows me to be creative um, ability to work in any industry of choice like I've worked in the agriculture sector agriculture sector I've worked in the university as a lecturer when I was in Nigeria um, right now I'm working in a mining company so it's like it gives you so many opportunities I was like if I was in medicine like will I be able to do all of these things so really that was how I ended up studying computer science like that, that's just the story like I never for once sat then and say oh I want to go and study computer science no it just happened just like I said that was just the story of it and um, I've been really opportune to you know do a lot of things in computer science right now i'm so passionate about computer science you know tech and all that there was this cyber camp i was part of in 2019 i was a teaching assistant for and um you know i was really inspired by the girls i mean i inspired them according to them and for me they inspired me like the things they were doing their curiosity the way they talk you know everything was just amazing and i'm so happy to be in a place where um, you know young girls see me as an inspiration you know young Africans as well also see me as an inspiration so it's like what what could I have done better than this like you know I couldn't ask for better so I'm going to be sharing the emotional letters they wrote me <laughs> I'm going to be sharing it it's been like wow that I read it so this is going to be in a long time this is going to be my first time reading it again so I'm really excited to be reading it with you guys so for contest sake during the cyber camp um, these students um, they were middle school and high school students okay and they just had two cards given to them like they were given just two cards each person to you know write to who whoever inspired you most or whoever you liked most during the camp and you know they just had two cards and we were two teaching assistants and they had about seven instructors and they had about two resident assistants you know they have um they had a lot of people there that were facilitating the camp so it was competitive basically so i wasn't even sure i was going to get any later because i was like whatever anyway so let me show you guys um i'm gonna read the first one okay the first one it says um dear dear aladi thank you for helping me when my laptop or code isn't working you were super easy to talk to and you are really funny okay <laughs> thanks in general for just killing the game so beautiful and the second one here is it aladi Duh, okay 
Okay. The second one, let's read. This is how it looks. It says, Dear Aladi, I love your hair. Okay, I'm going to put first the picture of my hair, the exact um, thing I was wearing. I love your hair. You are an inspiration. I love how you came all the way from Nigeria to learn computer science. I think that's so cool. I enjoyed your presence. That was weird. In parentheses, sincerely. <laughs> that's amazing. She loves my hair. She's inspired that I came all the way from Nigeria. She enjoyed my presence. That's a good thing, right? So this is the next one. And did I show you guys Aladi? Okay. And this one says, Aladi, thank you for volunteering at camp to make everything run smoothly. Thank you for helping me when I was stuck in Val's class. Thank you for being helpful and inspiring me to work hard in the classes. Thank you. I love you guys so much. <laughs> Next one. Um, Okay, this one is a okay. This one is a general one that you know everyone kind of signed, and I think it came from the organizers. Thank you, Aladi. Camp wouldn't be possible without amazing teaching assistants. We had a blast this week, and then the, the students they signed their signatures. Okay, amazing. Um, next one. Thank you for making me smile and for listening to my endless rambling about nerdy subjects. <laughs> okay, cool. And um, the next is this one. Okay, let's see, what do we have in there? Dear Aladi, you have been so fun and helpful this week and I'm going to miss you so much. Keep in touch, love. Aww. So guys, um, yeah, it's amazing being able to inspire young girls and inspire younger generation. Feeling old right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super like, it's something that I'm thrilled about and uh, I'm definitely um, going to keep doing the best I can and if you're thinking of switching to tech um, make sure you're doing your best make sure you keep fighting the journey is not the easiest you know you could get discouraged you know because by the time you go to the classroom especially as a woman you're probably going to be one of the few girls um, in computer science um, they are trying to change the narrative you know that's why they're encouraging more women to join but it's just amazing what you could do in computer science and if you want to see more computer science videos please do let me know and i will make more today i just wanted to test the waters again by you know trying to come out of my shell of not posting videos really so guys um thank you so much for watching today's video um if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe and um it's your host again aladi ako and i'll see you sooner than you think bye